first step to my going out makeup routine is using the Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. I use this as primer, but also I feel like I can use less foundation when I use this. So today I'm going to be doing my going out makeup routine. This is really my matte, full glam, full coverage. I use this makeup routine if I know I'm going to be flash photographed or I'm going to a birthday party or like a concert. This routine is like sweat proof. If you're looking for like a do or your natural sort of vibe, this is not your video, but I will make a video like that. So I picked up a new Estee Lauder Double Wear. I use Estee Lauder Double Wear in 3N2 in the color Wheat. So with the Estee Lauder Double Wear, I will not use a brush because I think this works better for this product. Very full coverage, and I think it looks more even and more airbrushed with a sponge, the up sponge. Oh, also guys, I asked questions on my Instagram so we could chat while I did my makeup. Okay, someone asked, how did you lose weight? One thing about being an influencer is when I gain weight, or lose weight I get a lot of comments about it which is like fine it's not that fun when people on the internet talk about your weight but like I mean what do I expect I'm gonna go in with a Charlotte Tilbury so in general in the past four years I would say my weight has fluctuated a lot so I'm gonna run it back to when I was in high school so I was a very serious athlete and I lifted very heavy weight. I was doing Olympic lifting and being a ski racer is kind of like how big can I get? At my school if you were really small and you weren't strong it was like that was not a sign of success. So I was about 40 pounds heavier in high school. I was a much bigger girl than I am now but it's actually kind of cool. When I was in high school using the Milk Cosmetics Contour and Blaze I was so confident and like I didn't give up fuck about my weight like I really did not care about my weight at all and I was so confident not only was I really muscular and strong but like I had a lot more body fat than I have now so I really love this foundation by L'Oreal fallible 24 hour I wanted to try their concealer today as like a shape tape replacement anyways I was much bigger in high school in some photos honestly you wouldn't really recognize me like you would know it's me but like I definitely look different I had dark hair and was 40 pounds, 45 pounds heavier. I was also like 16. So I moved to New York City. I won't lie, I would say like I struggled when I moved to New York with my weight. I was working as a stylist at a clothing store and uh, I felt really uncomfortable for the first time ever. Part of me is grateful because I, most girls in high school deal with body image and deal with, you know, struggling with that. I never experienced that in high school. Okay, quickly, I've seen this Chanel bronzer go viral on TikTok again. Um, I had this like five years ago and I never really used it, but I wanted to get it again. It's this kind of warmer toned bronzer. It's pretty. Now I'm just using the DR Backstage in 8N. Anyways, I definitely struggled with my body image when I first moved to New York. So after moving to New York and being really uncomfortable with my body for the first time, I got really, really skinny and it was not very healthy. And then after that, I started going out a lot and partying a lot. And then I gained a lot of weight back. Um, this was like before I was an influencer and then I lost it again. And then when I was living in Toronto, I was really, really thin. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is that my weight has fluctuated a lot. And I feel like I know now what my body needs. I definitely have lost weight recently. Like since last year, I've probably lost like 20, 15 pounds. I feel like I just have a better relationship with food now and I think that the reason my weight was fluctuating so much is because my life was constantly changing a lot the past four years of my life have been like kind of wild not everyone like online knows everything obviously that things that I've been through and there's some things like I'm just not gonna come on here and talk about but I think that the reason my weight was fluctuating so much is because my life was fluctuating so much and I didn't have any sort of routine and I wasn't really listening to my body or taking care of myself I would definitely go to say that this is the happiest that I've ever been and I feel like that's allowed me to be way more in tune with my body I'm not overeating and I'm not under eating I'm just like eating exactly what my body needs my body was so angry for so long bloated and puffy and I was drinking a lot and my diet was all over the place yeah I would say that's why I've lost weight recently because I definitely had gained some weight in the summer and my weight definitely has fluctuated over the past five years if you've been following me for that long yeah 
that was like a really long explanation i hope it answered your question so with my eye color i love grays i think gray ish brown with blue eyes looks good so nude sticks sent me this matte eye color it's called hot stone if i'm doing one of these full glam looks i have to use some sort of cream product first before i'm doing eyeshadow another thing i will go over this concealer kind of again and set my concealer once i do my eyes i just do like a base layer of concealer and then i go back in i'm just gonna put this like pretty messily on my eyes nude sticks makes a really good range of these colors then i'm just gonna first like pat this down and this does not have to be perfect it's just like is your base okay there are a lot of questions about my boyfriend and him and i are gonna film a video for my channel of questions about our relationship so i'm gonna save those for that what's your favorite part about being an influencer i would say having the opportunity to be creative i'm really the creative director of everything i do which is so cool people don't really think about it like that but i get sent products and have pretty much full control over how i'm shooting the content creatively i really have the control and it's so cool that brands pay me to create my own image with their brand i think that's really cool how have you overcome insecurity i've seen you grow up so much in the past three years i've been following you love you that's so sweet what a great question i feel like i honestly could talk about that one question for a while. I'm gonna go in with this MAC palette. It is called Art Library Nude Model. Really pretty. So I'm gonna go in with these grays, just on the outside. I am definitely not as insecure of a person at all. I mean, there were points in my life that I was like literally a shell of a person because first thing that comes to my mind is my first serious relationship in my adult life. Quickly, I'm just gonna take um, this little brush and create like a smudged eyeliner with this darker kind of like purplish gray anyways i left the city that i was living in to go live with him i was in college in new york and basically moved my whole degree program online and i was making some money off social media was not making nearly what i'm making now and i moved there and i was really dependent on him for a lot of things i was not only dependent on him emotionally but he was paying for most things also his love language was like giving so he to be completely honest he bought me a lot of stuff groceries rent literally like he was very generous in that way I'm gonna just take this tart eyeliner and I'll show you what I do. And all that, like, I just didn't have my own thing. I think the moral of that story for me and maybe for you is like to not depend on a man. I do depend on my boyfriend now for like things, but I have a house, I have a job, I have such a good foundation built and he adds to that. So I'm not dependent on him. Career-wise, my content does not depend on him. And that has made me like, I am a new person. And I will say that I have struggled with that, not only in that relationship, like even my last one, balancing what's actually good for me before you sacrifice for someone which you know i do in my current relationship sacrifice a lot i'm traveling a lot with tommy but before you do that build a foundation of your own build a life that you love on your own without your boyfriend i'm just like way less insecure in my relationship and i also think my boyfriend tommy respects me a lot because of it okay i'm just gonna clean up my eyebrows a little bit with this graftopian palette that has made such a big difference in my confidence and like also even with receiving hate online let's like take away the boyfriend part of this when people shit on me and say lies and nasty shit about me at the end of the day i'm like i'm fucking good i have such a amazing house an amazing life amazing friends i'm solid so like that shit rattles me so much less okay before i do my mascara and stuff i'm gonna set my under eyes and then i'm gonna do my lips and then see where we're at i know my following is mainly young girls and i just really want to drive home to you guys that having your own thing having your own job and your own hobbies and making your own money is so freeing i no longer have to depend on 
any man or anyone for anything and I know some of you might like be in college or in high school and you're not at a point where you're working or like can be financially independent being independent doesn't only have to mean financially prioritizing your hobbies I think it's about like, setting a good foundation for yourself how do you not compare yourself to other girls luckily I have not had this problem really sometimes when I'm filming these videos I have a really hard time <laughs> telling you guys the products talking and doing my makeup at the same time so I just used iconic nude and then I'm gonna play around with a few different colors sorry my uh, memory card was full I had to delete some stuff so I was talking to my best friend Amanda about this this is very black and white but there are two types of girls there is the girl that is like wanting other girls to look hot, wanting other girls to pop off, being like, fuck yeah, you being hot takes nothing away from me, go get it, like lifting up other girls. And then there are girls who are like threatened by other girls looking good, just like not girls, girls. Like for example, the difference between girls who DM me every day saying like, I love you, slay, hyping me up, and then girls telling me that I'm all fake and I'm like naturally hideous and that I have no life. So like two different types of girls and Thank God I am the type of girl that like other people's success and other people being hot literally takes nothing away from me. I love seeing other people succeed. Even when I meet influencers or people in my industry, I'm always like, do you need this email? Like, let me set you up with this person. Like, I'm constantly wanting to give away my resources. Another girl doing well on social media takes nothing away from me because my content is obviously always going to be different because it's me. I'm not in a competition with any other girl. Like, there's no competition. There's no competition because no one is me. Like, we're all so unique and I wouldn't want to be anyone else and I want every female to be like no one could be me either and my own individualness makes me really confident okay now I'm gonna be using the white peach in this tart lip plum but yeah I really don't compare myself to other females I'm trying to decide if I should do blush sometimes with these very like smoky bronzy look don't add blush there's this really good quote that i want to read about confidence isn't walking into the room thinking you're better than everyone it's walking in and not having to compare yourself to anyone at all that is the best quote ever love it okay now i'm gonna curl my eyelashes and then reassess the eyeshadow situation sometimes at the very end go over my eyeshadow again oh i forgot to do my waterline i've been doing this a lot guys i put eyeliner in my waterline it really just deepen the whole eye look a lot I totally understand seeing social media and comparing yourself to people, learning how to celebrate why you are unique and why no one can be you and being you is enough really helps with that. Okay, for this look, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty mascara. For my full glam looks, I really like this mascara. Okay, I'm going to let my mascara dry before I do more eyeshadow, but I'm going to contour my nose now and find a new question. Pinpoint how you truly got started i feel like with social media i got in at a really good time i was living in new york and going to college and i started creating content when there wasn't like a million influencers there are so many people trying to create content now which i think is really cool it's just like much harder to grow and you like really need a niche now i feel like to get big just being a lifestyle fashion beauty creator unless you're bringing something really new to the space it's really hard to grow my best answer for that would be at this point just like out of observation wise i feel like personality is super rewarded now i kind of started as aesthetic very curated sort of vibe on my instagram and then my youtube was a space that i was like you saw my personality the biggest jump that i made in my career was when all my posts started getting reposted to pinterest that's when i noticed myself growing a lot but it was like my really aesthetic like curated sort of vibe which i honestly have gone and gotten out of i don't curate my feed nearly as much as i used to why did you choose western over english writing so i always kind of did both but for me it was more of a comfort thing i feel like english is super competitive and very like strict and i was really writing for pleasure it is really therapy for me writing it's been very healing for me and i felt much more comfortable in a western saddle and the barn that i found that i loved was western and just like a much more casual environment so that's why i chose western how often do you work out and what workouts do you enjoy naturally and like my dad and i have very similar bodies naturally i have like a very athletic 
body and have muscle mass even if I do not touch a weight I have muscle I've literally been like that since I was a kid I carry a little bit more muscle on me in other words like I have an athletic build so for me it's about keeping my body fat percentage low so if I can keep my body fat percentage low then I look really fit because I naturally have muscle so for me my body is made in the kitchen very active I work out sometimes. I mainly do YouTube ab workout. For me personally, it's about what I eat. I know that that is not everyone, so I'm just really aware of how much I'm eating. Can you admit all the plastic surgeries you've had to your face? I have never had plastic surgery to my face. I've made videos about all of the filler that I've ever gotten. In the last like two years, I've only gotten my lips done. I haven't got my lips done since like last summer. I overlined my lips so much. If you saw me in person with no makeup, like you'd be like, oh, her lips aren't like that crazy. I did have a breast augmentation, which I've never lied about. I actually respond to most girls' personal DMs to me about it, like, and I will directly talk to people about it. I know that there are a lot of creators nowadays that do come with me to get a boob job, and personally, for me, I don't think creators should be lying about the work that they've gotten done, but I also so this is my personal belief a lot of people won't like this I don't owe anyone an explanation a video on my breasts that's how I feel I feel like it's very personal I didn't get my boobs done to have them look really fake I didn't have small boobs I think that's why they look more natural because I had like a C cup I don't know it's just a very personal thing and I knew people were gonna notice and I never was gonna lie about it but I also wasn't gonna make video about it but yeah the one thing I do want to say go smaller than you think another thing I want to say about this is as we have seen influencers on TikTok obviously we've seen influencers getting their boobs done I feel like more now on TikTok I feel like more girls are feeling pressured and to get their boobs done and I never wanted to advertise that I didn't want any young girls to feel like in order to be beautiful or in order to be like their role model they had to go get that procedure done I didn't want to be shoving it in everyone's face but I will try this new product that I got from Charlotte Tilbury I actually bought two of their blushes and then they sent it to me but it's not a bad problem I will definitely be using it but I haven't used this shade it is pillow talk apparently gonna use this shade I have not used this shade I don't really use this shade in blush in general I also feel like this would look good in eyeshadow what's your favorite thing about your house oh there are so many things um I love the wooden beams that are in my house I think they're so pretty and I love the fireplace in my bedroom I don't know I love a lot of things about my house what have you liked most about going on tour with Tommy hmm um I've loved getting into tennis and following the sport because really really cool sport and it's a pretty amazing sport i'm gonna guess that most of you guys don't watch tennis maybe some of you do but in tennis everyone's personality really really comes out on the court and i think that is really really cool i loved that i didn't have to give up my job i also just love supporting him are you naturally tan so i can get so fucking dark when i'm in the sun i can get so dark i'm gonna insert a picture of my dad i can also get so pale translucent so i try to stay in the sun <laughs> so i think i look healthier and better when i'm tan did you do your own decorating or interior design i love your home aesthetic i did i did everything by myself i always said if i wasn't doing this i would be an interior designer or be an architect i love spaces and i love curating spaces are you still thinking about moving to Florida? So I was never going to move to Florida. Tommy and I are gonna split our time. I love the East Coast. I love the house that I'm living in. I think that in the winter, I wanna spend time in Florida. And then in the summer, I'll be back here. We're also gonna be traveling a lot. I'm gonna be back and forth between Florida and Connecticut, which is honestly a very ideal situation because it's really not that hard to travel back and forth. Okay, I'm gonna answer two more questions. Someone asked a good question, which maybe some of you are curious about. Are you planning on eventually purchasing your Connecticut home? It's so beautiful. There's something called renting to buy, which is like you're renting it, but like you have interest to buy. And moving out of the city, my goal was always to buy or rent to buy. So, so right now I'm unsure about whether or not I would buy it, I'm gonna be here for a few years. There are a few reasons why I'm hesitant to buy this house. This house is 
fucking amazing and so beautiful and if i don't buy it i'm gonna be heartbroken about it but i might need more space and then i want land like i want a lot of land so i think that you know moving out of the city i needed to kind of live somewhere and live in the suburbs again and see what type of situation i wanted so figuring it out but i'm not gonna be leaving this house anytime soon are you going to coachella this year no i am not fucking hate coachella i'm sorry it's horrible don't like it i don't like anything about it not the vibes for me okay this is a really great question i actually have to go because i have an interview downstairs right now but i'm gonna quickly answer this question she did a part one and a part two because the question didn't like fit in one box a really sweet good question i love how you seem to stick to your og friends most of the people you post it seems like you've been friends with your whole life and then the next question was how do you maintain those friendships with your busy life and you going to boarding school and all i am so lucky that when i was really young i had really really amazing friends these people are just really good people i think it takes two really good people to maintain those good relationships everyone in my life is so solid and is so genuine and i'm a very intuitive person i really only like surrounding myself with guys and girls that lift people up like if someone's constantly shit talking someone or if they're like a hater or or if they're like going online tearing people down and all that stuff i won't surround myself with them i'm very quick to cut people off i really prefer having older friends long-term friends long-term relationships i have been so lucky to meet such amazing people like i have a really good core group i think it's a mixture of me being really blessed and lucky to have met really amazing people and then maintaining those relationships by making time for your friends when you're around i also have just always surrounded myself by people who are rooting for me and supporting me and always want what's best for me so i feel like that has led to no falling out but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i'm gonna sign off olivia's coming to get me because i have an interview <laughs> let's go okay bye guys love you <laughs>